So I'm out here at the lake and I'm using my underwater drone and look what I fished out using the claw. If you wanna see what else I found in today's video, stick around, it's gonna be awesome. Underwater drones, or ROVs, are transforming search and recovery operations. They locate lost items, sunken vehicles, and even assist in recovering drowning victims, keeping human divers out of danger. Equipped with cameras, sonar, and grabber arms, these drones give operators real-time visual guidance for precise recovery. Skill and training are essential. Practicing regularly improves control, speed, and safety during every mission. With technology and dedication, underwater drones expand our ability to save lives and recover what's lost beneath the water. Today is training day. We are out here at my local Lake Carter's Lake here in Georgia, and uh, we're gonna do ourselves a little bit of practicing with the underwater drone. Now, added perk, because I've come out here and done these videos before, uh, pretty much just looking at stuff with the drone. Uh, so what I got now is I have the little grabber claw mounted on my drone, kinda. It's not exactly, I don't have the right mounting bracket, so I just kinda zip tied it to the drone. Hopefully it still works. And uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down underwater we're gonna look around see what we can find and if we see anything that's not just a bottle or a, a dixie cup or something like like swimming goggles or phones or anything really we're going to see if we can hone in our skills and use the claw pick it up bring it to the surface why are we doing that practice just like i said real world environment these drones we got to examine cars and retrieve stuff and sadly even use it for body recoveries and so we're going to utilize the claw we're going to try to see what we can find and see what we can pick up to practice and we're going to take you guys along the way because the water here is really freaking clear so we'll be able to see a lot probably lots of fish and a whole lot of crap if you've seen videos like this before these lakes party lakes people just throw the crap out here out of sight out of mind what they don't realize this thing's only about 20 feet deep. It looks like an endless pit. The rumors of this lake are like, oh, it's so deep, you can't even find the bottom. There's catfish out here that'll swallow you. Ah! Well, there are giant catfish out here. I've seen them, but right here, this entire area, until you get, man, like right, right out to the open, it's about 20 feet. Right now, it's about 20 feet. At full pool, about 35 feet. Solid. So, future reference, any of you locals want to know how deep this section is when you come here and party? 35 feet. Jump out far, you should be fine. You can see right here, that's where the cliff is, but the water is usually like right up to here. So if you jump off of this, you don't jump far enough, ooh, break an ankle. Yeah, don't do that. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to get the drone all set up, and while I'm doing that, check out today's sponsor. Check this out. These are the Dark Force Night Vision Binoculars from MCG Tactical, and they let you see what your eyes can, even in total darkness. They're compact, lightweight, and packed with tech. Full color 1080p on a two and a half inch HD screen, plus seven levels of infrared brightness, so you can adjust perfectly for moonlight or pitch black. And the coolest part, a built-in targeting laser you can switch on with just a double tap. You can spot animals, track movement, or scout your campsite up to 800 yards away, completely in the dark. Record everything in HD videos or photos, day or night, with a micro SD card up to 256 gigs. And since it runs off USB-C, you can charge it right from your power bank or your truck. It's built tough too, IP54 water resistant, so rain, splashes, or rough handling won't stop it. And it's under 10 ounces, so it's easy to toss in your bag or keep around your neck. Right now, MCG Tactical's running a massive deal, 90% off, free shipping, and a 60-day money-back guarantee. Hit the link in the description below or go to mcgtac.com forward slash nug and grab yours before they're gone. Seriously, you've got to see the night through these. All right, I got everything set up right here. If you have no idea what I'm talking about when I say underwater drone, let me show you my setup. This is the Chasing M2S drone. Adam and myself, we both have one of these. Chasing was kind enough to send us uh, one of these to uh, help us in our searches, and they are workhorses. And today is actually the first time that I'm gonna be testing out the claw. And like I said, I have it kind of just rigged to this because I don't have the proper mount, but I got some zip ties down there, and actually, 
<laughs> oh, one of them. Oh, I didn't get it all the way through. Oh, well. It's holding, so we're going to see what happens. I got a few of them on there, plugged in, ready to go. And uh, I just pressed the button. It actually works. So this is going to be kind of fun. And uh, like I said, this thing is only like 20, 30 feet deep. Sorry if there's wind noise. It's kind of windy down here. But uh, long story short, this is the setup. Got it all set up right here on my phone. We are ready to go diving with it. So let's throw it out here in the water, see what we can find. All right. Got it out in the water. I'm gonna go underneath my coat here so I can see without a sun glare. So that's where you guys get to hang out with me. But we're gonna be underwater for most of this, so. I got the wind just suddenly starts like roar. The second I threw the dang drone in, the wind just starts roaring. Just give me five minutes of peace. something orange oh I think it's a snorkel let's see if we can grab that I think I got it Oh, I think I got it. <laughs> okay, now let's go to the service. Yeah, I got it. It works. <laughs> All right, let's see where I'm at over here. <laughs> Look at that. I got a snorkel. Let me set the controller down real quick so I don't yank it off into the water. Over there. Oh, God. Lock it. Hey, bam. <laughs> so look at that. It works. I have succeeded. My first find. Snorkel. <laughs> Let's unlock that. All right. How cool is that? <laughs> Let's send it back down, see if we can find something else. I think those are, I think that's goggles right there. Let's try to pick those up. It's kind of like uh, trying to win something at the, at the uh, arcade, you know, the grab machine. Ooh, I think I got him. Oh no, I missed him. I think I got him that time. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah, I got me some goggles now. Goggles and a snorkel. All right, we're coming up. Let's see if we can uh, bring it to shore. <laughs> this is so crazy. It's actually working. It's working as advertised. <laughs> All right, so we got these. Now let's uh, press the little button here, and then let it go. Look at that. Now I got a snorkel and some goggles. <laughs> this is so dumb. <laughs> yeah, let's keep going.
ourselves some tortilla chips. <laughs> this is so dumb. You know what? It might be dumb, it might not be, but you know it's fun and do gotta practice. You gotta practice with your tools all the time, or what are they? They're just they're just useless. They're just useless. So let's go back out here again, do another round. Here we go, here we go. actual bag of sorts <laughs> it's a, uh, a a fold out chair bag here we go how cool is that it'd be funny it'd be awesome if it's filled with something else like a like a phone a wallet some cash i don't know but we're starting off quite the little collection here got ourselves some kids goggles and a bag and some trash and a snorkel woohoo <laughs> this, is so, this is so fun. More goggles. <laughs> ah, heck. Got me some more. Look at that. Got a little pile going on here. <laughs> Hopefully this doesn't get snagged on something because I'm gonna feel I'll be really pissed. <laughs> Cleared the rocks. I think we're good to go. All right, there she is. <laughs> that was pretty fun. All right, well, you know, that was pretty cool. We got some good training in, uh, practicing with the drone. That was actually the first time that I got to use the uh, claw uh, on the drone. So uh, I think I was pretty good at it. You know, I found a couple pairs of goggles. I found a snorkel, picked up a couple pieces of trash, you know, just practicing. And uh, I think I nailed it. So what do you guys think? Leave me some comments below. Keep me motivated, you know. But I know one thing about this. Um, the wind out here sucked and there's always a glare on your phone, you know, so I'm trying to, I was trying to stay underneath my coat and that was a really big pain in the butt. So like I could see the screen well when I was under my coat, but that's kind of, that's just, that's kind of a drag. So I think I'm going to, I'm going to upgrade the setup to get some of those XR glasses I was talking about. That's what they call them. But like there's a company called Veicher 
that has a pair. I thought it was Virtue, but there's a, there's a missing R. It's like Viture. I don't know what it is. Uh, there's some Ray Neos. The Meta glasses I don't think are going to work because essentially all I need is like glasses that have the monitors in them. I wonder if like the VR headset would work because my kids got some VR headset. I wonder if I could plug this into the VR. I'm going to do some research, long story short, because I'm going to figure this out because if I could see the screen clearly and not really have to worry about fumbling with my coat and all that stuff, it would be just that much more fun. Plus, I need to get the proper bracket for the claw because right now I just have it zip tied on there. But you saw it. I mean, it held on. You saw I picked up some things. So I don't know. I think this was a win. This was a good training day. And I got to play with some toys, you know, because at the end of the day, you got to have fun with what you're doing. And that was fun. So got some practice in and uh, it's kind of cold out here. So I think I'm going to pack it up and I'm going to head to the house and warm up. But uh Hopefully you guys like this video. Let me know in the comments what you think I should do, what I shouldn't do, and what I should do moving forward because I'm always looking for something to do. And if you guys think there's something that I need to be doing, let me know and I'm going to go do it. Other than that, I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. I'll see you guys on that next video. Wow.